Yo, yo, Rengulius here. You are watching Wrench Feels Like Playing Underspace. We're back at it again. We're gonna jump back into it here. Um, I do believe this is the last little bit of the campaign. Um, I could be wrong, but uh, kind of just seems like that's uh, that's the case right now. Um, we are going, we just defeated two of the three last remaining rust lords in existence uh so now we are going to face off against the the last remaining rust lord the leader aurelian who just so happened to be our best friend uh carbell our lawyer who's trying to defend us against uh against the allegations of us blowing up our own convoy and uh Blowing and uh, trying to bank in on the uh, insurance money, but it's kind of it's a weird thing where it kind of just ended up being that the Rust Lords are the ones who blew up our convoy and kind of weird weird little turn of events where our lawyer is the one who blew up our blew up our convoy. So it's kind of funny how things work out. Um. There's a couple things along the way that definitely made it seem, made me kind of think that Carbell might have been uh, Aurelius, but definitely came true. That's kind of crazy. Um, and now we just entered the Starship Core, and I believe now we're uh, on our way to actually talk to Aurelian. I don't know... If we're going to talk to him, or if we're just going to go straight up and fight him. Not actually sure how I even get to him. I'm just kind of assuming I fly into this center here. Nope. Nope. That was the wrong thing to do. Okay. Um, where do I need to go here? Got nothing on my scanners here. What if I just scan the area? Nothing, eh? Enter the gateway at the ship star's core. Well, that sure as hell looks like I'm supposed to go to that direction. Okay. Lauren thought wrong, Cardoz. What we were doing, what I was doing, it was always for the greater good. Yeah, I'm sure that's what you think. You wipe out entire civilizations for the sake of your sick hedonism. We he we did not. We tried to test them, lead them down paths that would bear fruitful. Uh huh. You're insane. You weren't there. You didn't see it. But I did, Cardoz. We spanned the universe, and we mastered every force in existence. We were unmatched, unrestricted. I watched everyone and everything ever die. I watched the universe die, and slowly, gleefully. You'll never saw the stars and people alike split open, laughing all the while. You don't know the origin or color of the universe, because the smoke of gunfire turned it to black. You didn't watch everyone, everywhere, end. I'm assuming he's talking about the uh, old Rust Lords. I've sworn myself that nothing, no person or galaxy or universe deserves to go through that. Uh huh. So that's it then? You wipe out civilizations as some sort of mercy? It is mercy. It is the kindest mercy I can grant. I know when a civilization is falling. It might take billions of years, but so many of them can make great mistakes. The same mistakes the Rust Lords did. Oh shit. Gyroscopic enabler. It's tripping. It's tripping me out. I tried so hard for many years. Farah and Mobler gave up. 
They were just a hairdresser and an accountant. What did they know or care for Ascension? What the fuck does that mean? Even as the war raged, I never stopped trying. I hid myself from the death and the dying, but I never got any closer. Even after that, no matter how many times I tried, how many civilizations I went through, never any closer. I thought ascension was impossible until you. What the fuck does that mean? You mean the speaker? You are one in the same. trippy as shit. I had given up hope. Then one day, the speaker, Decimel, showed me. He did it. He ascended past the veil of time and space. He found the next step. Damn me if I know how. I watched your family for years, inserted myself where I could in the hopes that somehow, someday, I could glean on the secrets from his descent. Clearly I have no idea what's going on here. What did I, what I didn't expect is he'd come back. Why does everyone keep saying that? Haven't you had memories that weren't yours, of Lorne, of me? Not really. Haven't you wondered why so many people have seen to heap expectations of him on you? Haven't you wondered why you were such a good star chaser or where I tried to push you into it in the first place? Well, clearly you had alternative motives. Well, that tripped me the hell out. What, is he just still trying to convince us? The truth is, Cardoz, you're not just a speaker sin. You are the speaker himself. His reincarnation. Imperfectedly descended from whatever higher plane he went to. That is ridiculous. I never. We didn't always make war machines, Decimel. Oh, uh, now he's just going to refer to me as Decimal. There was one time when something like this, something beautiful, was common. Is I don't know why you came back, Decimel. It was for a reason, but you don't remember. Then stop this, Carbell. Step down. Work with me. Serve your sentence before the end. I offered you the same choice, and you didn't take it. You really think that I would do the same? Okay. I know you. You don't know anything, Cardoz. Here we go. Here we go. There he is. Weird motherfucking tentacle being. You are unique, Cardoz. But the fact that you were able to ascend means it's possible. Means it will be possible again. Ascend into what? The Union, this galaxy, is an experiment that was a success. Now it's time to, to dismantle it. In a few minutes, the core will overheat. 
invent massive amounts of radiation to avoid a meltdown. I will kill everything in this galaxy, but leave the most everything else intact. You're just going to destroy this one galaxy? You don't... Stop. You had your chance. But you followed Lorne. There's only one way this ends. Now. I don't want to do this, Carbell. That's a shame. I do. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Shit. Uh, launch countermeasures? I'm sorry. I'm sure you are, buddy. Shit. Keep doing the wrong thing here. Gonna keep launching countermeasures. Make sure I stay on top of that. There's no other way. Keep launching countermeasures. Make sure I'm on top of it. I got 60 countermeasures. I should be fine. I tried to keep you safe. But if you die, you die. Well, that's not very nice. Okay, so he just teleported away. Okay, here we go. Can I shoot his arms? No. Shit, what the fuck? Where'd he go? What a bitch. He's just running away from me. Whoa, shit. Ah, okay. Interesting. Laser beams got me. Okay, where did we get our save here? Okay, perfect. Okay, awesome. Right as we're uh, attacking him. That's awesome. Okay, perfect. We don't have to go through all the dialogue again. Okay, let's try this. So we got to avoid laser beams. Let's just... I wonder if we can actually... Feels weird, but we're going to try this. Never done this before. Can I get rid of this stupid shit? What the freaking hell? This is the first time I've actually used him in combat. Teleport away again. Hopefully this time we don't get screwed. Okay, so these things are freaking ridiculous. Just dropped like a bunch of countermeasures just trying to avoid it. Avoid the laser beam. Damn, man. So those are like giant laser beams. Just trying to catch back up to them. Shit, here we go. Shit. Oh, man. That one almost took us out. Just teleported again. Holy crap, dude. This guy's actually really difficult. I don't have any heals. Shite. Just trying to do as much damage as possible. Avoid any kind of... Uh... Oh, he teleported again. Try to avoid his laser beams somehow. I'm not entirely sure. Like, just try to launch countermeasures. I don't know if that even helps with these laser beams. But, just gotta keep, keep on keeping on. Holy crap. I think the countermeasures do help. Damn, dude. I got no health. Like, if my shields fail and he hits me, I'm dead, man. That's nuts. 
Did I just like start with no heals? Okay, teleported again. Now he's on the other side of the freaking sun here. I'm gonna charge up my uh, engines here. Just try to get over him super quickly if I can. I don't know if he's just gonna teleport away right away, but. Get within like 4k. Oh, no, he's gone. Freaking hell, dude. What a weird. What a weird thing here. Gonna try to avoid these. Oh. Man, um, if I just start shooting at him, am I gonna do damage? Yeah. So my weapons do track. Holy crap. So I got him down to 900,000, eh? Okay, well, here we go. Let's try this again. Um, how do I avoid... So, yeah, I don't have anything. Because I spent it all on the stupid fighters. Now I remember. Yeah, that was my stupidity. I fought a bunch of fighters before I got in here and used all my stuff. Not thinking that, oh, I'm gonna actually have to use this stuff. When I fight the freaking last boss of the game. Um, shit. gonna keep trying to fire at him it does seem like we fight we do damage from a distance so we don't have to be like right on him i guess i just don't know how to necessarily avoid getting hit by some of his stuff like it's frick these things like god damn it dude and it's one like huge ass laser beam I am dropping countermeasures, and I think it does help. Damn, dude. Shit. Like, if I get caught by that laser beam, I'm like, screwed. Ah, oh, teleported again. Gotta keep trying to fire at him. Like, my guns do hit him from this distance. Oh shit, what just happened? Oh crap, oh crap. Sorry, I just freaking lost my screen there. Um. Damn, dog. Oh man. Holy crap. And those like big... Okay, so those, those are the things that blow up. I gotta really avoid those volatile mine things. Try to drop counter my oh it's laser how do i stop getting hit by that that laser beam of his uh, coming out of his head there like that's a tough one man this is a tough one i really wish i had some heals that would that would be nice oh what hitting his head doesn't work you have to hit his body to drop in countermeasures every now and then. I took my shields down. I'm not maneuvering enough. What the hell? Why am I not doing damage? Sometimes it like doesn't necessarily make sense to me like what I have to do to cause damage. Like you not every spot on him takes damage. It's just oh there he finally teleported Damn, okay. But then I fire at him from like here. It's not really anything. I can just hit him. Well, let's wait till he teleports again. Yep. Okay, so I gotta go to the side, I guess. Just trying to avoid 
taking any kind of laser beam to the face. It's rough, man. This is actually tough. Okay, so he just faced me again. So he's like positioning himself in order to like laser beam right straight on me. Yeah, teleported again. Okay, so do I just have the ability to just shoot at him now? Launch a couple countermeasures just to be safe. I'm doing damage to him, so I'm just gonna keep going with what I'm doing here. Do you have to pay attention to those freaking floating volatile things? Well, we've... Okay, so let's go to the side. Hopefully I can just straight up avoid laser beams. He definitely, like, he keeps, like, teleporting further and further away. Yeah, I cannot hit him from here, obviously. 7K is a bit of a distance. Okay, his laser beam... Now I'm just confused. Now I'm just confused. How the hell do I avoid that? That just doesn't compute. How do I avoid? It almost doesn't seem possible. I'm not gonna say it's impossible, I just... Okay, they just, the lasers just track. Can I keep on? See, like, sometimes the damage doesn't, why doesn't the damage work? Weird. gonna sit here and shoot at him. Like the laser beams that like go around the freaking arena don't necessarily seem to do damage. The ones that come out of his freaking head definitely do damage. Okay. I'm actually like getting worse at this. I'm getting worse at this. What am I doing wrong here? I gotta figure out how to freaking avoid those lasers. Because, like, his missiles that he's firing, sure, all I gotta do is just drop some countermeasures and that's fine, but, like, his lasers are just, like, freaking beam weapons coming out of his head, like don't necessarily know how to avoid that. Holy crap. That's nuts, man. And it just, like, happens, like, instantly. So it's like, how do you avoid something that just happens instantaneously? Gotta avoid these stupid volatile things. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely worried. I don't necessarily know. I'm gonna start engines, kind of trying to move fast. I see the laser beam there now. Just kind of try to get me get close to him as soon as I can. Kind of the goal here. Let me move fast enough to where uh, his laser beams can't keep up. There we go. Close enough now. Let's try to get it close. Stay close. Get close and stay close. It's kind of all I can truly think of right now. Man, sometimes you don't do damage and it's kind of frustrating. Okay, well, there's no engines. It's 8k away from me now, so I'm going to start my engines. I get to like 5k 
He'll probably disappear before I can even get to 5k here. I think, yeah, he disappeared. So, man. Just try to get close is all I can really think of here. So, drop some countermeasures. It's funny how, like, the first time I did this was the best time I did this, where I got him down to, like, 900, under 900. Now I can't even get him under a mil. Oh! Okay, sweet, awesome. I have no freaking clue how to defeat this. Like, there's no warning, there's no... Like, how do I know when he's starting, like... And even if I knew when just he starts firing his lasers at me, how the hell do I avoid him? And I'm not doing damage. Why am I not doing da Sometimes you just don't do damage. I don't get it. It's like I'm inside his hitbox or something. Yeah, I'm kind of getting annoyed here. Like, how the hell do I avoid those damn lasers? Even when I'm traveling at, like... Uh, hyperspeed, I still can't seemingly avoid the damn lasers. So I must be in his hitbox at that point. Because I, I, like, I get close to a certain point and he stops taking damage. Trying to launch like a shit ton of missiles at him. See if that helps. Okay. I'm gonna jump to. I don't know if this is even making it makes it worse, makes it better. I'm gonna jump to hyperspeed. Launch a couple countermeasures. Look at that thing. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Like. I feel crazy. Like, this doesn't seem possible. What am I doing wrong? I gotta ask myself, what the hell am I doing wrong here? Like, what am I doing wrong? Does he give advantage? Like, is there a way I can tell if he's launching his... My health is already, like, dead. Like, I'm already dead. Like, just started the fight. Hmm. I'm just gonna stay here. Not move closer. Then he teleports. I'm within range. Hopefully I'm close enough to where... I don't know. These laser beams won't reach me. Just gonna stay on his tail. Yep, it's not doing any damage anymore. I don't know why. Just, just, I'm assuming I'm just within his hitbox, so I can't do damage is my assumption there. It's kind of annoying. Won't do damage if I'm too close to him. Like, how does that make any sense? Okay, well, he's 6k away. Do I do damage from here? No. Yes, so from here I do. I'm gonna launch a couple countermeasures. Move forward a bit. You just teleported. Okay. Countermeasures. Just gonna countermeasure a couple times here. Don't know. I don't know if this is gonna help, but we're just gonna countermeasure. Hopefully his laser beams go to the countermeasures. Like, I'm, I'm not even, like, firing at him because I just don't want to get hit by his damn laser. Okay, so... Uh, 
Okay, so we got him down to 950 now. He's finally down. Oh, teleported again. Where is he? Okay, do I need to really, like, what do I... I fear that if I, like, try to get to him, he's going to teleport all the way back here. And then by the time I get to him at that point, like, yeah, okay, so he teleported back. Okay, so maybe I just ignore him when he teleports over there now? And I just have to try to... Yikes. Okay, I don't know. We're going to try this again. Let's get below the plane here. Maybe if I get low enough, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't want to get hit by the stupid freaking laser beams. Got him under 900. Just launching countermeasures. Gosh damn it. Come on. Almost down 850. Oh, there's laser beams. He got my shields. Damn, laser beams again. Oh, teleported. I don't even know where he's at now. Where'd he go? 9k so he's like behind the freaking star now like so i don't know what i necessarily should be doing here i'm just gonna stay here stop him oh he teleported back shit okay the goal is to stop him is kind of what they're telling me to do here well i'm assuming stop him just means blow him up Hopefully, I don't, I don't seem to have, like, a, a timer or anything. Okay. So, yeah, when he teleports, I'm just going to ignore it, I guess, because he's just too far away to shoot at. And if I try to advance to him, he teleports back here. And then that gives him more reach for his laser beam. So I'm not going to do that. Got him almost at 600. Just got to keep even evenly killing the... Uh, yeah, I just gotta chill. I just gotta chill. I just gotta chill. Keep on the countermeasures. I only have 30 countermeasures left. Yeah, come on. Let's teleport, buddy. Okay, he's back. Here we go. I hope that... Yeah, there's nothing like I'm doing. I'm not doing anything wrong here. And our measures. I really hope I don't get by beam. Yep, there's his beams. Holy shit. Countermeasure. Countermeasure. Under 500,000. Got a countermeasure. Just, just in case. Countermeasure. Come on, baby. Come on. Teleport it again. Holy crap, man. Holy crap. 7k. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna hit him from here, it doesn't seem. I'm just gonna turn around. He's gonna teleport back. I do not wanna be. Hey, come on. Come on. Teleport back. You know you want to. Right here. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Come on. Stay out of his beams. Countermeasures. Countermeasures. I don't know if my missiles actually do anything against him. I'm out of missiles anyways, so it doesn't matter. Okay. 350. Almost at 350. Come on, baby. Countermeasures. I have 17 countermeasures left. God damn it. Let's do this. Teleport it again. He's within 7k. Do I just... Oh. I don't know, man. I'm a little worried. I don't want to get baited in. He's baited me in here. I'm going to stop moving. Come on. Come on. Come on. 300,000. 300,000. Here we go. 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 I don't know what he's doing, but I'm okay with it. Okay. Laser beams. Laser beams. Countermeasure. Countermeasure. Man. This is freaking stressful, dude. 250. Stressful in the sense that, like, I don't know what I'm doing right, other than the fact that I'm, like, trying to maybe stay below his head level. 
Like, as soon as he teleports, I'm, like, trying to maybe sort of get below his eye level. Okay, teleports again. He's closer. I'm gonna get a fair amount of damage here. Those volatile things are coming towards me. I'm just gonna strafe away. We're good. It's 130, 120. Come on. Almost under 100. We're almost there. He teleported again. It's behind us. Laser beams! Oh my god. I thought I was dead. Shields back up as best we can. We're out of those. We got 13 countermeasures left. Come on. 60k. 60k. We're almost there. Have 50k. Countermeasures. Countermeasures. Oh my fucking god, dude. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what the fuck? I got him down to 30 fucking K? And I just got... Oh my god. What the fuck? Dude, I don't even know how to react. Oh my god. Just... Just, like... I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. I, I don't even know what to do. I don't know what to do. I am, um... I don't even know. Wow. All I can just like wow. Um Yeah. So that just happened. Awesome. Awesome. So his laser beams can just take you out out of the blue. Like like nothing. Just one shot, yeah. Yep, got him down to less than fucking 50k. It got down to like 30k. I got him down to like 30k. What a fucking joke, man. What a joke. That's sad. That's disappointing, man. I am, um... That one sucked. That one, uh, that one sucked. That one really sucked. Yeah. That's disappointing as hell, man. Wow. Okay. Let's try to avoid his laser beams. I don't even know. I don't even know if it's possible to avoid his laser beams. I'm just like... I just get lucky. I got lucky last round, maybe. Where his beams were just like not where I was. Because now his beams are above. Above the plane. Sometimes his laser beams go below. Like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. That just demoralized me, man. That was demoralizing. Like this. Okay, well, I kind of like... Man. Like, oh, I wasn't really trying there. I just kind of still... Couldn't get over the last round. What's the strategy here? Instantly down. Nice. Um, yeah, I might have lost for words right now. I really don't know what the fuck to do. I'm, uh, I'm kind of just frustrated. Holy shit, dude. Like, there doesn't seem to be a real way to avoid getting hit by... 
doesn't seem like there's any way to get avoid like avoiding it it kind of just seems like if it randomly decides to point at you you're dead like i don't know that's just how it feels like i don't know i don't know necessarily what i need to do to avoid it like what maybe what allowed me to get down to 60k like i feel yeah like we're like 30k like what allowed me to do that was it just random freaking luck is that all it was like at this point i'm just like feeling like all that was was luck i have no idea i have fucking no clue so I'm just gonna have to get lucky and hope that he doesn't shoot a laser at me. Cause like, I don't know, man. I do not know. Like, I don't know if my countermeasures are doing anything to be perfectly honest. I'm gonna keep dropping them just in case, but. Hear laser beams. I guess they're above my head. Like, I'm just hoping, like, I'm just like, yeah, stay below his, like, head level. Maybe they can't go through his body. It's my hope. Okay, teleported away. 7k. I can get 7k. I think it's like. Stop here. Like five three. It's range. Probably five four. We teleport again. Let's get out of here. Just try my ass off to get below his head level. Hopefully, I can just avoid getting missiles. Like yeah, his missiles are or his lasers are just random, man. So it just doesn't. I don't know what. I need to do to uh, avoid them because they just seem so randomly placed. Now I can't do damage. I'm too close. That's freaking stupid, man. Try to avoid getting hit by the volatile things. Hey, okay, he's too far away. I'm not even going to try it. Just float around until he teleports back. Okay, so he's under 900. Okay, come on, teleport. Okay, so we're below him. Can these lasers hit us from here? I'm gonna just hope no, is my hope. Maybe if I just stay at this plane below him, if he just keeps teleporting back to this spot or around this spot. Seven fifty, I'm too close. Okay, I can see his head. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I really don't like it when I can see his face. head and I guess that's my only hope that his lasers can't go below his freaking body line but I don't even know if that's true or not 
because it definitely seems like I get hit by shit that I... Yeah. It's okay. We're fine. We're doing okay. Patterns is maybe what I gotta do as well. Damn it, dude. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Holy shit, he's floating away. I don't like this. I'm gonna hit hit by a fucking laser beam. I know it. This is where I die. Holy crap. Yep, teleports away. Barely did any damage. No, I'm just staying here. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna wait till he fucking teleports back. Come on, teleport back. You know you want to. Teleport back. There you are. I'm gonna try the friend drive. Just shoot at him, buddy. No damage. Teleported. Just gonna chill for a sec. Teleport over here back. Come back. Yeah, I can see his face. Don't like that. Shit, 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 shit. 780, come on. Shit. Gonna do it again? Think he's helping? Come on. Teleport it again. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. We got this. Down to 660. We got this. Come on, teleport back. You know you want to. Come on. There you go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Open fire, buddy. You can do it. Four sixty. Four sixty? Why am I not doing damage? Two That's so dumb. That is so dumb. Okay, we're gonna call our friend drive again. Calling him again. He's back. Come on, teleport. Come on, teleport. He's back, teleported. We got this, we got this, we got this. Just stay below his tail. It should be fine. Just stay below his tail. Like, he moves super quick, too, so it's like staying below his freaking tail is actually kind of hard. Come on. Too close to him. Fuck. It's the stupidest thing. How does being too close to him and shooting at him make any difference? Come on. I just need a 
215 teleported okay here we go here we go 215 215 I'm not gonna fall for it just fucking wait and teleport wait for him to teleport come on come on friend drive turn that back on must recharge come on ah I mean recharge. I mean recharge. Staying below is shit. Like, my missiles don't necessarily seem like they're doing any- Oh! Oh! Get out of those volatile areas. Under 100k. This is where shit gets real. This is where shit gets real. 600, uh, 60, 60, come on. Just launching countermeasures, one after the other. Come on, transported. Two under, oh my goodness. Okay. He is almost freaking dead. Come on, come on, come on, we can get there. We can get there, we can get there, we can get there. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, five. Teleported, where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go? This could be over real quick. Where did he go? Boom, you dead, bitch. You fucking dead, bitch. Oh! Finally! Holy shit. Oh. Hi, Cardoz. I'm dead, obviously. Most likely your hand, but trust me, nothing else can kill me. In that case, then you also know, well, I'm truly dead. The man I really am is gone. My name was Aurelian, and I failed. Failed to bring the Lost Lords to Ascension, and they have the universe into pieces. The next race, and the next, and the next. I sat for billions of years watching the ruins and failures of Grant to the universe next step forward. When the Union came, I thought that Ascension was impossible. You changed that for me, Cardoz. You gave me hope. Maybe I deserve to be killed, but it was never really about me. That's why I'm giving you this. <clears throat> These data files contain the entire wrestler's research and knowledge of the process and the gate codes for hyperspace, navigation specs, and every exit node. Our highway is yours, as are our secrets. Please, I know what you think of me, Cardoz, but I cared for you. You were my friend. I don't know any more civilizations snagnate and die like mine. Figure Ascension out. Figure it for everyone. You did it before. You never told me how. I know you can do it again. At least let everything I've ever done mean something to you, Speaker. Speakerson? Are you ready? Is that your... Okay, I don't know what that actually said. It said, is that really you? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Zet's office. What the fuck? Carbell's will. Mr. Speakerson. We at the Volvin Archives present you this data crate containing the final wishes of one Carbell Joswick to be delivered to you upon his death. All precautions have been taken to make sure that any information contained within this is strictly confidential between you and any deceased party. As a general precaution, the data we are entrusted with this is often sensitive or emotionally difficult to process. We advise you that you listen to the deceased's message within a private area. We are sorry for your loss. Baldwin Archive Bereavement Team. Do I get to read it? Or was that message his will? Maybe that message was his will? Is there anything else? What a fucking ending. Jeez Louise, that fight was brutal. So, Zet's office. General Zet. Admiral Zet. 
Between the washers, the triangles, and now the rustlord's business, you seem to be the quite the savior. You do well to your ancestors, Zikardos. I'm still cleaning up all that, aren't you? I see you got a promotion, at least, High Fleet Admiral. The other people in the High Command felt it was deserved. Yeah, because he was Captain Zet, right? I believe I've always been loyal to the Union, and always about the bigger picture. That's why I'm Admiral. The Union needs strong leaders right now, now more than ever. Your house seal and full pardon, Lord Speakerson. You deserve it. Okay. No. I beg your pardon? The only reason I lost it was because I'm a 010. But it doesn't matter to me anymore. None of that does. You're right. I'm not quite like the speaker. Did you know that he was a star chaser? A habitual drunk, too? Swore like the devil? A nickerous bastard. I bet Ask would love him. You said it, th it about him. Keep the seal. You don't deserve me talking about it. Give it to my niece instead. She's a good girl. You owe me. I mean, your fortunes have been restored, but you were rejecting your seal, and there's more important shit than families and political games. UHC would listen to you, right? Je General? Admiral? They would. Good. Tell them I want to start a new star chasing chapter. Okay. Okay. How is everyone? The Union found documents of the Consortium Cap, now classified, detailing- Oh, fuck off. General Unaji forces collaborate this, courtesy and named. And the families. Yeah. I love not being able to read. It's great. It's the best. The Baldwin scribes are in chaos, and now your society seems to want you executed. You've shattered a false image. So someone called Ken Andrew sent you these flowers. Signify something? Repetilies, they are given to singers and actors good for, for a good performance. Your society seems to be tearing itself apart. What? Good. Well, shit. I seem to be uh, a bit of a pessimistic side. The Black Fleet the chapter dedicated to charting the hyperspace and translating the reworking of something. Carbell, what's this all really in? Left behind things. Language translation packs. I do not understand. He betrayed you, manipulated you. He did. And yet you continue his work. Why? Hopefully I can read it. Why? The explanation. Because, you know, that'd be cool. You know, I always thought all my life I would be a traitor. And now I'm here in the head of a star chasing chapter. You have ident identity issues? No, I think I realize now that I've always been the speaker. I remember things, conversations I've never had. And one good thing about everything else bothers me. I feel like I've achieved nothing. You stopped the rustlers. You discovered my people's secrets. But yes, I feel like none of it was really important. Abezio said the same thing or something was coming that... It was my fault, but it wasn't Lorne. You know things, right? Big cosmic things. I am intellectual agent. We are being honest. I know many things. Then tell me. Please don't be a paragraph. Please don't be a paragraph. All this, everything I've done, even figured out this whole ascension thing, does it any mean anything? Not at all. I'm assuming that's what it said. It doesn't mean anything. Well then, let's get to work. Fish level 25. Picked up the Slong Slinger 26. Okay, 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 okay. So, beat the final boss. Pardoned of everything, got all our shit back. Star, now we started a new star chasing chapter. Um, still don't know what like half of this shit does. Translation probe. 
used to advance deep learning techniques to translate unknown languages on the fly. Okay, Lauren's Flair to contact Lauren the pin. Song Slinger, we just got this. An experimental weapon dropped by Karda Spikerson for his newly established Black Fleet chapter. Developed by just where the technology that powers his guns comes from is unknown, and rumors about from Cardas having a secret backer to it being made by a secret Rustlord ally. While more fervent believers claim Cardas created it himself, as the Black Fleet is only sells this weapon, it is logically the best weapon they have. Class 10. Full damage 5,000, shield damage 2, th like 5,600 and 2,800. Fire rate 1, so it's not very fast, but it does a shit ton of damage. A lot of energy drain. Jeez. Yeah, I don't know if I want to use these, even though I don't even think I can. Yeah, okay, I do have slots for 10s. Wow, okay. Is that it? I think that might be it, though. I think that might be it when it comes to story. Reputation, Valdman Police, Military, Speakers and Freight. So everything's back to normal. Washers. Even Masters of Wormholes is negative. Why would that be the case? Why would the master be enemies with us now? Weird. But yeah, the Mata is neutral. The only ones are the washers that are enemies. And for some reason, the masters of wormholes. I don't know why. Um, damn. Okay, well, uh, I'm just going to bump up this to 20. Bump this up 28. So that's 4 7. Da uh, shield downtime, rebuild time. Um, so there's a prologue. Okay, well, now what? We got a couple missions that we could do. Enlisted with the Idol Smashers, but if I go to... Is there a chapter house here? I don't even know where I am. Where am I? Medium Orange, Ascension Academy. Where am I? The fuck? Go player. Cadrix. I'm in the Cadrix. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go to Chapter House. Anybody home? Don't see anyone in here. Let's check the no weatherboards chapters. White fleet, Freon. Bosses killed. Original description removed by UHC order. UHC notes. This chapter is founded and run by Creon of Onus. The top ranked star chaser for over 300 years. He is currently its sole member. Due to the extreme danger of both Freon's pursuits and the nature of star chasing in general, the UHC has a standing order to remind any potential recruit that all non Creon members have experienced a 100% fatality rate. Legally, you cannot be stopped from joining this chapter, but be aware that, speaking plainly, Creon operates and hunts storms far above the level of any 
of all but the most singularly elite star chaser. Storm rights or beasts killed. Zero out of three. So bosses killed. White fleet. Ghosts hunted. Famed and founded for their actions in the Veiled War, the White Fleet are star chasing chapter exclusively. Dedicated to the hunting and destruction of ghost ships. As the leader experts on the behavior and the countermeasures, the White Fleet are viewed as mysterious legends and a point of pride for the Valdwin, who founded them. Because their fame and a non-insignificant portion of their time is spent on community outreach and bolstering of their frightening image. Interesting. So... Flame rewards. Picked up love. Two. Times two. I'm going to have to check out what that meant. So I guess as... So... Interesting. So as you join chapter... This is the... Like, I just beat the main story and now I'm figuring out what the chapters actually do here. So as you join a chapter, you do their missions and then you can come back and... Ex like claim a reward and now i have the mission of killing 45 washers for the idol smasher so then obviously i have to kill three ships and then i could come back claim a reward same thing for uh three bosses or storm rights interesting 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 okay so that's what the chapters are so now that's kind of somewhat of a purpose there outside of like you just getting money and missions Okay. Okay, 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 okay. And if I go... Okay, let's see what I just got. Like, what the hell is love? A class 4 weapon. So, obviously, that was a really easy mission. Just kill three washers. You don't get a very good weapon, but... You still get weapons. Interesting. Okay, so I have 500k. There's actually not very much. Wow. Okay, so I think I think that's it for your story. I think. Now it's just more or less you make your own story up. You can join chapters. Do chapter missions. There's a couple quests here that I can do. Maybe as you go through and explore the map. Because both of these were just like me running into a situation. Okay. And then obviously you can do bar missions. Character. Why did it have me highlight? So if we go to the bar, just check out. Oh, so there's no news. Are there any missions? Union hyperspatial control. These don't pay out very well. Flight demonstration. Probably easy missions. Okay. So, okay. So there's no news here, which is interesting. You'd think there would be like a bunch of news. I'm just gonna undock. Maybe there's like a. You are cleared to launch. Good luck out there. Whoa! What the fuck? Something tells me something went wrong here. Don't think that was supposed to happen. I'm just going to load. Yeah. Yeah. So that was just a... An oopsie daisy glitch. Okay. So... Planet Cadrix. 
We just came out of this station, Ascension Academy, which is, I think is like... Launch lanes open. You're clear. Okay, I wasn't asking, but okay. Um... Okay, okay, okay. Police. Star Chaser, stand by for a contraband scan. A mental farm? Contraband negative. You can go. Why doesn't this come up in my. Can I not dock here? Carry more depot. Speakers and freight. Why is this not coming up in my. Yeah, so I think that's it. Um, Destination reached. Thanks for the help. This is Vesper. Theta 13-2. Carry Mar Depot. Requesting docking permission. Lava Theta 13 dash. One. Would have been nice if they like freaking gave us a bunch of money at the end there. One. Okay, well, I think that's where we're going to end it for today. Um, I might, uh, that might be it for the series. I might end up coming back and maybe doing a couple uh, chapter missions just to test them out. See what they, uh, see what they're about. Um, but for now, we beat gods. We cleared our name. Saved the universe. Let's say we did our job. Hey, Star Chaser. Mind if I take a peek in your hold? Didn't Pretty cool. So. Definitely, definitely very reminiscent of Freelancer. Um, You're all clean. Go on ahead. I'm definitely going to probably replay this. Definitely, probably. Uh, I'm definitely going to replay this once it actually gets fully released. Hopefully all the voice acting is done. And I, maybe the story is maybe a little bit... Uh, more easy to follow because there's definitely points here I was getting frustrated with not being able to follow some of the dialogue just because I'm a slow reader but uh other than that it's a pretty freaking fun game interesting mechanics with the bosses and some of the uh some of the big towers and shit stuff like that like I wasn't expecting uh definitely different from what I was expecting I didn't really know what to fully expect here but some of it felt easy that last boss definitely didn't feel easy. That was that was freaking intense there. I ended up having to use my uh, a friend drive, which I only just got. So it's super awesome that I actually was able to use it. It's actually served a purpose there because holy crap. With Star Chaser, without that uh, without that guy, I don't think I would have been able to beat that mission. I think he was sort of distracting the lasers a little bit better than me just trying to uh to uh, randomly avoid them because they just seem random as hell but uh we did it we got him and uh that's all she wrote sweet well until next time on wrench feels like playing peace